It's the next day over. Yes, I'm wearing an Obey shirt, black beanie, military pants. Uh, but it doesn't matter because I want to talk about what I picked up. 250 brand new. I took the insoles out. That's just like a personal thing. I don't like wearing my insoles in my shoes. It came with a dust bag. It was completely dead stock. Like dead stock, dark shadows. I thought they were canvas. Dark shadow nylon. Um, so I mean, it's a new type of pair for me. The nylon material isn't terrible. It's just interesting and um, I think over time, this isn't really going to fade as much as the canvas pairs because I've seen that the canvas pairs get like sun faded and like really beat. This is going to be a beater shoe for me, um, but nonetheless, like it's just super clean. It's one of the newer season ones because it has that weird Rick Owens logo in there. Uh, this one's a size 44. I usually get a 43, um, but with 43s, I have to like when they're brand new. To like squeeze my foot in but with 44 it just slips on in there so i might have to add like a bigger insole in the future but it's really sick like these are really cool anyway so excited to wear these this one i kind of bought on impulse uh basically this is a john paul gautier piece it's a i believe houndstooth is the print it's a houndstooth really cropped very wide bomber jacket i don't think it's meant to be reversed but it has a reversible zipper so like it's really nice it's a medium and I'm usually an XL large so um, it fits pretty well surprisingly this was $60 so I mean like it's really not bad I don't have the knowledge um, to like be able to tell you whether this is like a rare piece or not but I just know that like cool John Paul Gaultier pieces are kind of hard to come by like there's there are a lot of hit or miss ones so this one's pretty sick. I'm kind of excited to style it up. So right here is a pair of Alix cargo pants. See the tag right here. They came brand new with the hang tag too, which is kind of crazy because these pants are like a thousand retail. The material is super thick. It's a really nice shade of green. Um, I love that it's elastic, so it can kind of stretch a little bit. The Velcro is so stiff and like, look at that. The hardware, super smooth. But you know, Alix is like known for their hardware. Matthew Williams really kills it with that. Silver zipper detailing again on the back. I can't say that they're worth that thousand dollar like price point justification whatsoever. And I'm glad I didn't pay a thousand dollars. I paid about 280, which is unheard of for like Alix cargos. So it's basically three straps, three Velcro straps for adjusting the sizing. But yeah, they're a really solid pair of pants. I wasn't even sure it was gonna fit me. And speaking of not being sure if something from Japan is going to fit you, this is a pair of undercover hybrid denim uh, paper doll, I believe. And I believe that's, it's not 06, 03, 04, possibly. Um, size large, which is also kind of crazy. And they're called hybrid denim because, as you can see on the front, it features a sweatshirt patchwork looking detail. And then on the back, is this wash denim. So really cool. Um, I saw Sanjeev pick up a pair from Silver League. I don't know if he returned it or not, but he was saying something along the lines of like, the fit is really weird. The rise is extremely low, but his was like sweatpants on the back and then denim on the front. His was like hugging his ass. This is the exact opposite. Because the sweatpant material is on the front, it's like nut huggers. So I think I have to wear like, like a long shirt or like a boxy oversized shirt but yeah um i'm a 36 waist so the fact that these fit me is extremely surprising because japanese pants as you guys may or may not know always run super small i generally don't think that there's any man in japan that is like a 36 or 38 that's like a big boy size so um and these are actually kind of big on me i have to tie the waist drawstrings to like make it fit and i even had to belt it up um so thank god that the back denim part actually has some belt loops on it so you can actually belt this um, but yeah like I've really never seen any undercover pant fit a 36 even looking through listings on Grailed when you go to like the size 4s the size 3s they're all like 33 32 lastly this is probably my biggest scoop of the haul probably the item I got for the best deal um, I got this for under $200, which is kind of unheard of for Archive Raft. It's like a popular material. Um, I know it's not environmentally friendly, but I am buying it secondhand. So, Raft Simmons on a winter, 1998 through 1999, size 46. Like what the fuck, that's like a small medium. 46 mohair sweater. The width is crazy. It's like 
fucking 26 inches across, which is very reminiscent of what everyone does now. So the fact that Raph was doing this in the 90s is kind of crazy. A um, mohair, as you guys may or may not know, is that like Kurt Cobain fuzzy knitted fabric. Um, it gives that like grunge punk aesthetic. Only complaint is that the seams are more, they almost line up towards the front of the body. So it's like pushed inward. So the, the arm openings are really small or they fit smaller than like a regular sweater. But the width is there of like an XL. So I wish Raph just like made this a little bit wider on the arm opening. Raph Simmons, black mohair sweater. Wasn't a lot of pieces. But I kind of do enjoy it. I don't like talking about like 40 pieces and making a 15, 20 minute video. I just like keeping everything short and concise. Um, so if you did like this video, please give a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And uh, I'll try and make more videos. I just don't want to like force myself if I'm not into it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.